when it comes to your drum sound, do do you uh, approach each record differently in terms of where you want that drum sound or how you want that drum sound to come across in, in the mix, or you already have pretty much the sweet spot uh, of that of, of that placement in order for you to get the essence of Cannibal Corpse? Yeah, I mean, I I leave a lot of that most of it uh, down to our pro producers. That's why you have them. Um, you have the guys that are there recording you and, and working on that, the sonic side of it. So I don't get too much involved. I know what I want. And it, it's as simple as like, well, you know, I like a fuller kick drum sound or, you know, let's make the drum sound as natural as possible, you know. Um, and, and, I, and that's as, pretty much as far as I go. Um, so it, a lot of it comes down to maybe uh, equipment that's used and and miking techniques and things like that. But but um, yeah, I don't get too. I, I don't think any of us get too much in the way of of uh, like the producer these days. I mean, back in the early days, maybe we were a little bit more hands on. It was all new to us, and you know, everyone's got maybe a stronger opinion and all this. Well, we've been doing it long enough now, and um we just we just want a great sounding record you know we want everything to obviously fit in its place and just to sound good overall you know you know and that's you have to work as a team in that regard i can't be sitting here going well i need the drums to be louder than anything else or or vice versa the, the guitars or the bass or you know we'd, we'd never get anything done it would just be a big uh you know, big uh, debate and, and it's not going to get anywhere. So, so I, I, as long as I got a good drum sound, that's really what it comes down to. And, and then I'm relying, like I said, on the producers, you know, to, to get that sound for me. And um, luckily I think it's been getting better and better. Eric's been getting better as a producer. And I think this is one of his best ones he's done for us. And I knew he had some new gear and some new, uh, you know, a new board and all that. And that probably contributes to a lot of it um uh, to getting these sounds even better than they've been in the past so so that's that's a great thing but man yeah just as long as it as long as it's in there and it sounds natural to me i'm happy you're easy to please <laughs> hey that's you know you have to be in a sense man otherwise i think if we if like i was just saying otherwise we probably wouldn't be around here talking and be in a band for 35 years if we if we weren't able to compromise and just all kind of work together uh, it, it would be tough it is true. I can see that you you guys definitely put the band ahead of, of yourselves as individuals. And I think that is the reason why 16 records. Yeah, you're right. I think so, too. I think that's a big key to success because uh, maybe a lot of bands don't make it because you got one or two stronger opinions. And then, you know, that's when things go awry and, you know, bands break up or what have you. So, you know, we're fortunate to all be on that same page and to be uh, have that common goal in mind and, and and have just great sounding cannibal corpse records and songs i mean that's exactly it you know the right be bigger than any individual of course